Final buzzer, you kind of buried your head and some teammates. Uh, were you crying or what was your emotions at that point? Uh, no, I, you know, I didn't cry. Uh, you know, honestly, I don't, I don't really know what I was feeling. You know, I just felt, you know, really good. But at the same time, it was just like when they were grabbing me, I just needed to embrace someone, you know, just one of those feelings where, you know, I was just happy to have their support. And uh, it was, you know, it still just doesn't feel real yet. You know, it just, it was just an unbelievable game and the comeback. And, um, you know, with everything I've been through this season, it just all kind of came into that moment, you know, right there on the court when guys were just grabbing me and, and uh, just, you know, cheering me on. It was, it was, it was real special. Um, I don't know if, you know, to say it was, was old times, but, uh, you know, it was just a, a moment where, you know, I just kept telling the guys, hey, look, we're down 20 points, you know, let's, let's, let's play loose and, and, uh, let's try to give ourselves a chance. And, you know, when we were making that, that comeback, you know, I never, you know, thought we were going to, you know, win the game, but I was like, let's just push it and try to put some pressure on them, keep putting pressure on them to see if we can give ourselves a chance. And, uh, you know, we just kept getting stops and. Uh, balls were going our way, and, and uh, it was just a incredible game to be a part of. Brandon, flying home game two late at night, early in the morning. Have you ever, as your mind wanders, just considering this kind of thing, the same for you, and obviously tonight? Um, you know, honestly, you know, I envisioned, you know, a game like this when I first came back from the surgery. I was like, yeah, I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to, you know, do something special. But uh, as things progressed, you know, I thought, you know, game two was a, was a, a down moment. I didn't think anything good was gonna come. You know, I was, I was pretty down on myself. But uh, like I said, the next day, so much support. You know, I just wanted to go out there and give myself a chance. And I didn't think that this would happen. But you know, it was a great day for me and and, and for our team. You know, we evened out the series. It's two two, and and uh, I think you know we got some pressure on them now. Questions for both players uh, in the Dallas locker room. They feel like they let one slip away. Did they let one slip away? Or in your mind, you feel like you just took it away from them. <laughs> uh, I mean, it just depends on which side you're on. Um, we felt like we uh, we made the plays that that we needed to make to to win this game, and uh, you know, again, our, our pressure was 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 great. I thought in the second quarter, and then we let up we let up on it in the third, but then we got back to it in the fourth quarter. So it just depends on who you're rooting for, you know. Blazers, we feel like we, we went in there and we took that game. You know, uh, they definitely didn't just hand us that game. That was a game that we really fought for. So to, for us to say that they, they gave us a game, you know, now nah, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go that far. L.A., how are you feeling for him right now? I'm very happy for him. You know, I, you know, I mean, I, I mean, I think he can tell you that, you know, I always try to be confident with him. You know, when he was coming back, you know, I always tell him to shoot it. You know, I always tell him, you know, to uh, play his game. You know, I never, you know, try to, you know, put him in no shell or anything, you know, I always tell him just go out and just play, you know, he missed a shot, like, you know, shoot it again, like, I've never said anything negative towards him, so, you know, to to see him getting his confidence back and, you know, see him get back to rare form tonight, that was that was pretty big. I wish I had more energy to uh, celebrate with him, but I was about to pass out. <laughs> It means a lot, you know. Um, you know, again, it just it didn't it didn't quite feel real when I was playing, and even now, you know, it's just it's like uh, you know I've I've been in some some pretty good zones before, but but not like tonight, you know. Like I said, that it's just even playing that game kind of sent it seemed like it was over, you know. Uh, Dallas was just pounding us. Uh, we had no rhythm the entire night, so um, to go on a run like we did, and you know, I'm. I remember sitting in the sideline and coaches like, you know, the Marcus, you got to, you know, he's basically saying if we lose tonight, we're done. So we, we need to keep you in the game. And, and I'm looking like, okay, I got I to gotta try to help the Marcus out a little bit. And um, I didn't know it would turn into 18 points, but, hey, you know, whatever we can do, you know, he's done such a, a good job the entire year. Uh, you know, I remember he would even text me when I was, when I was back, you know, in, in Portland when they were on the road and just say, you know, keep your head up. You know, we still need you when you get back out here. And, and uh, took a little longer than I thought to, to give him the help, but, you know, uh, I'm just happy to be back helping him, and he's done so much, you know, for our team that uh, we need guys to step up and, and continue to, you know, help us win games. Were there moments on the court when you started feeling it click and then again later when you're like, I just have to take this? Um, 
Yeah, I don't know if it clicked when I, I think I hit a, a, a three in the corner and uh, that was the most confidence I shot a, you know, a basketball in a long time. Like I just kind of put it up like, oh, that's good. And uh, I think a couple plays later, I hit that shot where I got fouled. And, you know, when I shot it, I, I threw it up, but then I started looking towards the ground to land and I looked up and it went in and I'm thinking, oh, this is, this is going to be one of those finishes, you know, that, that I feel like I might be able to have a good finish. And, you know, again, the shots just kept going in, and, and uh, I, just, I just kept telling myself, keep taking them, keep taking them, and uh, keep being aggressive. And if, and if uh, Jason slips off his man in that corner, then I'm going to hit Wesley. And if uh, Drill's man helps, then I'm going to hit him. And nobody helped, so I was like, well, let me just keep taking these shots. Brandon, that, that shot at the end of the third quarter, the three ball kind of danced around in the rim, finally decided to go in. How big do you think that was? And kind of getting the ball rolling for everything else? Uh, yeah, that was big for me. You know, I, my, I felt good again coming into the game. You know, uh, the, the, the first half, I thought our, our offensive rhythm was, wasn't was very good. So, um, you know, when, I, when, we, when we came in the third quarter, you know, that they were kind of, you know, pounding us a little bit. To get that shot, I kind of got a little bounce in my step. Like, okay, I needed to see one go in. That was my first actual field goal. So after that shot went in, I said, all right, now I got to go. I got to be aggressive. But don't just settle for the jump shot. You know, I got to make sure I keep attacking the basket. And I think I got to drive early in the fourth where I got to the, and got an easy layup. And that just kept just feeding my confidence. So every shot that went in, I just kept getting more and more confidence. And even the one I missed, guys were like, shoot it again. Shoot the next one. Be aggressive. So that was big for me. Brandon, in your opinion, are you back? Can you please can sustain this level of play you've been having in the last couple of games? Uh, my, my mentality is different, um, I think, than, than – uh, Coming when I first when I came back from an in, injury, you know now now it's when I'm in the game it's go time, you know uh, when I'm out there I, I'm, I'm playing and I'm not playing to, to 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 be the old Brandon Roy or to try to you know change someone's opinion about me. It's just to play. It's just to go out there and play and and take my shots and and I think with with that new approach I've taken pressure off myself. Uh, you know I, I beat up on myself you know more than anybody. So now I just go out there and play. You know I'm not predicting anything next game, but I know when I get in there I'm gonna go out there and play loose. And uh, try to get my team a boost when I'm in the game. But Marcus, how do you think your friends back in Dallas feel right now? And you're looking forward to going back. <laughs> oh, they hate them now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, my, you know, all my friends are, you know, <laughs> happy for me, you know, that we got that game. You know, I think they all felt like, you know, we had a chance to uh, win the first one, but we let it slip away. So I think they're gonna be pretty happy for me. Ellie, what was going through your mind <clears throat> without Christian when you went into that fourth quarter that you had? Um. I just kept telling, you know, I think B can, uh, you know, uh, attest for it. I was just like, if we play defense for five five uh, possessions and get five stops, we can get it to 10. And I just kept saying that and kept saying that. Then we actually did it, and I was like, oh, you know, it's at 11. And I was like, well, let's try to do it again. And then, you know, we kind of did it again. And it was kind of like, well, let's just keep doing this then. But, um, <laughs> but I was trying to tell the guys, like, let's just – Go hard, you know, go all out for five possessions at a time, you know, like put it out on defense. And I think we did it. You know, I thought Nick had some some uh, great steals. I had some big steals. But I thought, you know, B had a charge, Jerry had a charge. I thought, you know, we all just put it out on the line and it paid off. Brandon, you made that one runner a bank shot. Did you call bank on that or were you just so hot that you made it? <laughs> I got to be honest, I think I was just hot. <laughs> uh, you know, when I when I was driving, I kept hearing the coach say, push him right. And uh, I was like, well, I'm, I'm going to go right. And when I went up for the shot, I kind of seen Marion right there. And I'm thinking, all right, just put it up on the rim and, and try to get your own rebound. And uh, there was no way I called bank. I would never try to bank that shot. But <laughs> just being hot, it, it, it went in for me. This crowd stayed with you guys like the Yeah, I mean, our fans have been great. You know, um, coaches, he'd be getting on us to, to, to get us to play harder so they can stay in the game. But uh, the, the good thing about our fans is when we are ready to make that run, they're, they're right there. And it was, it was so loud. You know, we're, we're guarding and our, our guards at their guarding their guards. And, you know, we're trying to yell screen and you can't hear anything in there. I mean, it was just, uh, it was just an incredible, incredible, you know, environment to, and atmosphere to play in. And, you know, our, we we almost expect it, you know. It's like, all right, now we're on our run. Our fans are right there just um, cheering so hard. And, I mean, you know, I've been in some tough arenas, but, I mean, this is probably the loudest place I've ever been in, you know, in a, in, in a game. You know, it was it was pretty special. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>
What a night for Brandon Roy, as you heard his comments, along with those of LaMarcus Aldridge. Six points through three quarters on one of three shooting. He goes eight of ten down the stretch for eight.